the moon is quite possibly the most important aspect that you can know in your chart. Naturally, we are human beings driven by emotions, no matter how logical we think we are, we are all driven by our emotions. So knowing your moon sign tells you what kind of emotional patterns you tend to have and what you seek for emotional fulfillment, which can explain your behavior. But that's based off of the sign your moon is in. In this video series, I'm covering what it means to have your moon in each house because the house that your moon is in tells you where you seek emotional fulfillment and where you will find emotional fulfillment. In this video specifically, I'm talking about what it means to have your moon in your 12th house. Hello and welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology. Before I dive into this video, be sure to grab the free birth chart workbook now to understand the basics of your chart, whether you're new to astrology or if you've been studying astrology for a long time, the birth chart workbook helps you apply the basics of your chart so that you can live in more alignment with your soul's unique energetic imprint. I teach you how to understand who you are because I was the person who never understood themselves for way too long. I didn't understand what my behaviors were, what my tendencies were, how I appeared to other people, and that led me to not really knowing what I needed for emotional fulfillment and what I was seeking the most. Then I discovered the Enneagram, MBTI, astrology, and so much more, and everything finally made sense. One of the things that I discovered about myself using uh, astrology and personality typing that changed my life the most was my moon sign. So in this video, I'm covering what it means to have your moon in your 12th house and how that affects your emotional fulfillment. And if you're new to astrology and you don't really know what a moon sign is or you don't even know what exactly a house is, don't worry, I'll be covering that all in this video before I dive into what it means to specifically have your moon in your 12th house. So first off, what is a moon sign? The sun sign in your chart is your ego self, but the moon sign is much deeper. It is your emotions. So the sign that your moon is in tells you what kind of emotional patterns you have, what emotions you tend to feel the most, what your emotional strengths and weaknesses are, and what you need for emotional fulfillment. For example, if you have a moon in an air sign, you're more intellectual with your emotions and you need mental stimulus for emotional fulfillment. If you have a moon in a fire sign, you're very passionate and aggressive somewhat with your emotions and you need passion for fulfillment, etc. I have a whole series on what it means to have your moon in each sign that you can check out later. Find out what sign your moon is in and go watch that video to understand what exactly it means for you. So that's all what the moon means based off of the sign it's in, but what does it mean to have your moon in a specific house? So the sign that your moon is in shows you your emotional fulfillment in patterns, but your emotion, your moon sign, your moon house shows you where you seek that emotional fulfillment and where you will find emotional fulfillment. There are 12 houses in astrology and they represent the 12 areas of our lives. Each house uh, reflects one of the zodiac signs. This helped me understand the houses so much more, which is why I share it with you. So the first house reflects Aries themes. The second house reflects Taurus themes. The third house reflects Gemini themes, which is the third uh, zodiac of the zodiac wheel, etc. It makes sense when you think of it like that. If you understand the zodiac signs well, that'll help you understand what each of the 12 houses are about. So there are 12 houses in astrology, the 12 areas of our lives. And these are dictated uh, where these 12 houses sit in your chart is based off of your time of birth. So you need to know your time of birth to know the house that your moon is in. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you do know your time of birth because you're watching this video. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what it means to have your moon in the 12th house, which is all about our subconscious and our fears. So what is the 12th house exactly? The 12th house reflects Pisces. And what do we know about Pisces? Pisces is a dreamer. They're in the dream realm. They seem to be not in the 3D or even the 4D, they're in the 5D. They're in their imagination. They are not only creative, but they can also be paranoid at times because they see everything and they feel everything. So similar themes can come up with the 12th house. It has to do with everything that is subconscious. So our subconscious mind is the biggest theme when it comes to the 12th house. 
whatever sign your 12th house is in shows you what kind of things lie in your subconscious. It not only shows what your just general subconscious energy is, but it also shows you what your subconscious patterns are, what your subconscious fears are, and what your subconscious desires are potentially. The 12th house can also show some indications into um, past life karma, or it can mean that we're highly intuitive if we have a planet in our 12th house. There's actually two ways that a planet can manifest though when it's in a 12th house. When something's in our 12th house of subconscious, it can either show up as being highly aware of the things coming up in our subconscious, or it means the opposite, that we're highly unaware of what we're doing because everything we do is driven by our subconscious. So there's two ways it can manifest. We'll talk about them both in the uh, context of a moon. So what does it mean to have your moon, your planet of emotions, in the 12th house of subconscious? With a moon in 12th house, you seek emotional fulfillment by connecting with your subconscious, with your mind. So people with a uh, moon in 12th house probably feel that they need to spend a lot of time alone. And as the 12th house reflects Pisces themes, Pisces is known for feeling everyone's emotions but their own and being extremely sensitive to them. This can show up for moon in 12th house. If you have a moon in 12th house in Pisces, please just comment now and we will offer all the help you can get because we cannot imagine what you're going through. But generally, people with a moon in 12th house tend to feel everyone else's emotions first, which is why they seek so much solitude. They realize that they need a lot of solitude in order to feel at peace. And they find that if they are around stimulus a lot, if they're around other people a lot or doing mundane day-to-day -day tasks, they find themselves constantly burnt out. As much as this empathic nature sounds like it's purely a struggle, it can also be a gift. People with a moon in 12th house are highly in tune with the unseen things. Whereas some people may um, only be able to notice people's emotions when they communicate them, the moon in 12th house can feel and see the emotions and thoughts happening in someone's head before they even express it. These people are highly in tune with the energetic realm, so to say. So they know what people are thinking, intending, and feeling, likely maybe even before they themselves know it. The moon in 12th house is highly perceptive, and it's just that they need a lot of time alone in order to process their feelings. The biggest struggle for a moon in 12th house is gonna be that they might not be very in touch with their own feelings. And because they're so connected to the subconscious realm within their mind, they might not be very grounded in reality. They might not seem like they're all there. And this is something to play with, something to dance with if you're a moon in 12th house, because we all need to fulfill our moon sign, even though it has limitations. And we also need to avoid our patterns. So if you're finding that you're a moon in 12th house and you're constantly being overwhelmed by other people's emotions and then having to isolate, you might need to change something in your pattern and build some more emotional resiliency. Or if you, but then from there, you need to fulfill your emotional uh, need for alone time. You want to spend some time in your subconscious, you need it. So you need those little isolation breaks and you need, and while you might not be the most grounded person in the room, it might just be something that you embrace. You're not gonna be the most present grounded person, but you are going to be highly connected to intuition, energy, emotions of others, emotion, thoughts of others, as long as you're connecting to yourself as well and prioritizing your own emotions first, then this is a gift for the moon in 12th house. These uh, talents of being able to read others' emotions and thoughts, this is a gift as long as you put yourself first. And do you put yourself first? It might be hard for a moon in 12th house to really just prioritize what they need and what they want because they're so busy reading the emotions and feelings and energy of the, uh, the world around them that it can be hard for them to tap in with what they feel and need. So if you're a moon in 12th house, make time to tap in with what you feel and need. In the good sense as well, the moon in 12th house is very gifted at recognizing their fears. If they make time to be alone, chances are, because this is the house of subconscious, these people can feel into what it is they fear the most and what their patterns are much faster than most people can. Like I said, the 12th house has a lot to do potentially with past life karma, which so usually our past life karma shows up in early childhood. 
So people with a moon in 12th house can tap into very quickly how uh, what their childhood experiences were that maybe hurt them or harmed them. And if they can just recognize it and let it go, they can empower themselves. The moon in 12th house does need to watch out for the tendency to feeling misunderstood or avoiding their responsibilities. Because the 12th house is so soft and delicate, the moon in 12th house can be a very sensitive person. They feel in a way that they're not prepared for the real world. They just want to live in their imaginations at all times and they would really be happy if they could just do so and live in isolation. You've possibly even considered just living in the mountains and becoming a monk. <laughs> but uh, naturally, being human beings, chances are most of us don't want to go live in the mountains and be a monk and live go away from all of reality. So the moon in 12th house needs to watch out for how often their sensitivity gets triggered and when they start becoming less responsible due to that hypersensitivity and feeling like they're misunderstood. Because naturally, as human beings, we all want to be understood, but not everyone can understand us. And the most important person who can make us feel understood is ourselves. So if you're a moon in 12th house, make sure you're making time for isolation to really recharge your energetic boundaries and recharge your emotions and making yourself feel understood and then set plans for going into the real world so that you can deal with it better. Naturally, you're gonna be a sensitive, intuitive soul and that is a beautiful thing. And when mastered, it becomes a much more fulfilling life. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you understand what it meant to be a moon in 12th house, please leave a comment below and let me know. And let me know what sign your moon in 12th house is also in because the combination is super important to know. And I can tell you a little bit about what it means to have that combination in the comments below if you just let me know. If you want to ask more questions or you have specific questions about your astrology, questions about aspects, anything, I can do, we do 30 minute readings for $30 in the link in the description below. You can do a reading with me and ask anything you want. This wraps up my series on the moon through the houses. So if you missed any of them, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and go check out those videos on the Be The Hero channel. So while you're down the link in the description below, looking at readings and leaving that comment, be sure to download the free birth chart workbook where I help you understand the basics of your chart so that you can actually apply the information of your birth chart instead of just taking in the information, holding it and thinking, well, what do I do with this? The birth chart workbook helps you understand using journal prompts how to embrace each part of your chart so that you can live in alignment with your soul. I've personally used these journal prompts and they've changed my life. So grab that in the link in the description below. You might want to check out the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle, which is our 30 workbooks and courses, every single one of our workbooks and courses for only $30. It's an insane deal. I know. Yes, we're crazy. You'd be crazy to not grab it right now because I have no idea how long I'm going to offer it for. So grab the birth chart or grab the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle in the link in the description below. Uh, and you get 30 workbooks and courses on Enneagram, astrology, and so much more for only $30 the Making Mindfulness Fun Bundle. You might wanna also check out Be The Hero Academy where we help you script and journal to live in your highest self and live a life of fulfilling health, abundant wealth, and purposeful career. So Be The Hero Academy, we show up every day to give you inspiration to be your highest self and we do weekly calls to help you live in your highest self and teach you how to be the hero of your story because guess what? everyone's a hero of their story. We believe that firmly. And if you feel like that rings true, that yes, you want to be the hero of your story and you believe that you can be, or you believe you already are, Be The Hero Academy is for you. So join Be The Hero Academy in the link in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more series on the planets in houses. What do you want to hear about next about astrology? Are you curious about Mars, Mercury, Venus, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below about what you want to hear about next and I will be sure to film that series as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos on astrology and from my heart to yours. Once again, I am Isabel and thank you for watching this. Namaste.